Yo, if you're watching this, AJ Brown is an eagle, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Go freaking birds. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to BK Pokemon Cards. As you can tell, I'm recording this directly after day one of the NFL draft. Extremely excited for next year's season. You may not be into that, but I am an absolute mega Philadelphia Eagles fan. If you can't tell by the hats, the shirts, the apparel, it's time that I just come straight out and say it to all of my friends and family right here at BK Pokemon Cards. Couldn't be more excited. Once again, leave a like on this video to support the channel. Please do subscribe to join the BK Pokemon Cards community. Would love to have you a part. Giveaways after every single video on Twitter at BK Pokemon Cards. Give us a follow. Join the BK Pokemon Cards community. And I've got a special treat for you today because what we are doing is something that I am calling the battle of the best. We are going to face off. I'll show you. We are are going to face off the two best sets in a sword and shield and once and for all figure out who reigns supreme brilliant stars versus evolving skies that's right we put a poll out on twitter left side or right side i've got half a booster box of evolving skies half a booster box of brilliant stars and there very well could be a part two to this video because I have the other box with the other side split brilliant stars and evolving skies, but that is for a later day. This is part one. Welcome. We're going to go pack back to back brilliant stars, evolving skies, and see once and for all which set is better. And I am going to go ahead and put my call in and it could be absolutely hated on. But I'm going to put my call in, and I'm going to say that Brilliant Stars takes the cake. Maybe I am biased as a Charizard fan, but I'm going to tell you Brilliant Stars takes the cake. So let's see. Very first pack, we have Metal. And we're going to, we're going to guess the energy because it's, it's fun. It makes it competitive. I enjoy it. Um, obviously, I forgot on that pack. Halucha, looking forward to having a Radiant Halucha in Astral Radiance coming up very, very soon. We've got a Clink Clang, and we're starting off with an Empoleon Hollow. So nothing much there, not a big deal. There are some absolutely ridiculous cards that we can pull in both Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies, and it's not gonna happen in this pack. In this pack, we're gonna go to Flowlet and a Smeargle. Um, Brilliant Stars has a little bit of an advantage with the character rare subset. That being, even if you get a code card that quote unquote doesn't have a pull, unlike this code card that does have a pull right here with Evolving Skies, um, you can still pull a character rare in that reverse hollow slot. So very nice. Let's go water energy and we get it. Water energy to start things off. This is our first loaded Evolving Skies pack. So let's see what we can do. We've got Dino, Blow Your Horn, Mareep, Waba, Love Disc, a Snow Leaf Badge, and we've pulled a Duraludon V, Ultra Rare, regular Ultra Rare. Not a bad pull at all. I believe when Evolving Skies had first come out, I pulled like one Duraludon V, four or five booster boxes. Obviously the card itself doesn't have too, too much value. Um, if any value really, but you know, it's not just some easy V card to pull. There are a lot of V cards, um, and sometimes they escape you. For example, I didn't pull the RCS V card in Brilliant Stars, but one time, one single time, the regular Ultra Rare Arceus, one time. Uh, let's go Lightning Energy, and it is Dark. So we're gonna go Dark Energy. Hunting Gloves, Vibrava, Farfetch'd, Duskull, Grimer, Shinx, Badoof. We've got a Pachirisu, and oh lord, we have a Kindler Full Art. It looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and put Brilliant Stars in the negative for the Kindler Full Art. I've pulled Kindler. I have pulled Kindler. No less. Than like four or five times. 
I can't get away from Kindler. It just it just doesn't happen. Kindler coming after me. Hitmonchan, we have a Feebas and a regular Altaria with a Dark Energy uh, to show for that Evolving Skies pack. And we will double down. We're going to go back and forth, but two packs per set each time. And we've got another pull, Evolving Skies. It would take one hit from Evolving Skies and one hit from Brilliant Stars to really tip the scales. Let's go Dark Energy again. It's Leaf. Come on, unlisted leaf energy. Give us some freaking luck. Herdier, Sableye, Teddy, Mareep, Zorua, Tentacool. We have an Appleton and Rainbow Rayhan. I cannot get away from Rainbow Rare Trainers to save my life. Rainbow Rayhan versus Kindler, you've got to be kidding me. But I will say this, Evolving Skies is in the lead with an Ultra Rare and a Rainbow Rare. So maybe I was wrong. Right now, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, Code Card. We this. I knew this was going to be a crazy battle, but this video is about to absolutely take off. Let's go Water Energy, it's Leaf again. We had a regular Code Card, but of course, that does not mean you are done for with Brilliant Stars. We have Starly, Shroomish, Piplup, and yes, sirree, a gold Rapid Strike Urshifu has been pulled. I think that I've pulled the gold Rapid Strike twice now. There's our regular Magmortar. I think that I've pulled the gold Rapid Strike twice now because I, I don't think I have the single strike. Amazing pull. Amazing pull. I'm gonna run out of space. Amazing pull. I would say that it's pretty even. I think it's pretty even right now. Brilliant stars, because we got a, a rainbow secret rare from good old Evolving Skies. We got a Scavalier, Worm Deer, and a code card. But we got a gold card and a full art from Brilliant Stars. It's gotta be pretty even. Pretty even, but we'll see what happens. We've got another pull from Evolving. I need an alternate art. I know that since we pulled that Secret Rare Trainer, we may be out of luck as far as Secret Rare VMAXs. I don't know, maybe we won't be. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. I want, oh my God, I want Leafeon VMAX alternate art so bad. Umbreon V alt art, anything. Come on, Evolving. We've got High Dragon and we have a full art, Duraludon V. So the hits, the hits, ladies and gentlemen, are just continuing to come. We have Evolving Skies in the lead, 100%. Evolving Skies, I think I'm on another Evolving Skies pack. I don't remember, but we do have a green code card here. That's guaranteed nothing from Evolving Skies. It is wishy-washy which to me was always the most questionable rare card until wormadam was aware was a rare card sorry it's a tongue twister so now that it's wormadam i'm like look we got wishy-washy and we got wormadam these rares do not make sense to me at all v star no guess the energy and away we go brilliant stars what are you going to do with a full art that's been pulled barry badoof We've got an Electabuzz, Halucha, Weasel, Gibbs. We have a Mothum and a Boss's Orders. So you see it right here. I think I'm gonna separate these. I want it to. I want to be able to see who's in the lead. So we got Brilliant Stars over there, and we've got Rainbow Rare, Evolving Skies right there. Evolving Skies is in the lead. Two, three. Pretty even, two to three. And what are we gonna do with brilliant stars here? Nothing, Snow Runt and Staraptor. We can still get Alt Art out of Brilliant Stars. We can still get Secret Rare out of Brilliant Stars. Uh, I think we can still get Alt Art out of Evolving Skies, quite frankly, but you never know. Let's just see how the packs land. Green Code card, I mean, it's automatic with evolving and really with all the other sets. If it's if it's green, 
It's mean. You're not getting nothing. Um, but we've got a four and a rainbow. I, mean, I just can't get away from rainbow trainers. I can't. I don't. I don't. I'm trying to pull the Pokemon, baby. I'm trying to pull my guides. Alternate arts. V Max. Alt arts. You know, I don't want trainer. It hurts me so bad. But it's okay because we'll be giving it away right here, and I can guarantee we'll be up for giveaway. VK Pokemon cards on Twitter. Join the fam, and oh, we have cooled off. Flygon, Fire Energy, Code Card. Hope that you get great, great pulls with the online code cards. But for now, we have cooled off until this pack. Don't forget to guess the energy, Bennett. And let's go one, two, three, four. Fighting Energy, and it's Psychic. My favorite energy of all, and yet... I didn't call it. Fracture, Kara, Clefairy, Cherubi, Sock, Corefish. We've got a Flareon character rare. Back in action. That might tie us back up. And what do we have but a Zama Zenta V. So we've got a double hitter pack. V card, Flareon character rare. And I would say with this being a rainbow and that being a full art, I would say it's still pretty dang even. I don't know how I could say that. I don't know that I can say Brilliant Stars is in the lead right now, but hey, let's see what let's see what Evolving Skies has to say about that. One, two, three, and four, I think. Let's go Psychic again, and it is Metal. Metal Energy. The Scrafty, Crystal Cave, Ursaring, Lillipup, Emolga, Tentacool, Pumpkaboo, Bagons, Rock and Rolla, and we've got a regular Hollow Raichu. Was absolutely bound to happen. Rayquaza on the pack art. I want a full art Rayquaza. I have not pulled the full art Rayquaza. Would love, love, love to pull it. Another full art could definitely be in the cards for us and let's go water energy on this pack and we've got the guess the energy it is a water energy swoop bat lombre lucky lion king chinch chin chow dino blow your horn pumpkaboo carvana we've got a braviary and leafy on v a very very nice ultra rare you love to see it i just need the leafy on v max alt art to join it and I would say that probably keeps us at just about even shaman what you got for us come on we needed some black borders on the code card it doesn't happen we've got clink muck and psychic energy another code card to show for it and we have probably eight packs remaining for each set. About eight packs or so, something like that. I'm gonna go one more Brilliant Stars, Arceus Pack Art, Charizard Alternate Art would be the absolute game changer. That would change the direction of this opening and would probably put Evolving Skies in the dirt, but it hasn't happened. It has not happened and Tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like we're sitting at just about even right now. I really do. If not tilted in Evolving Skies direction, we have another green and white code card, which is exactly what we're looking for. And let's go Metal Energy. And it's dark. Close enough. We've got Dark Energy, Boldor, Aroma Lady, Smells Flowers, Rescuer, Psyduck, Eevee, looking at who we want to pull. Flying away, hopefully not, hopefully only metaphorically. Applin, Pyroar, and a Marshadow Hollow that I quite frankly forgot existed in this set. Let's continue with an EV pack. Marshadow Hollow. We've got a full art and a rainbow trainer. I feel like an alt art would absolutely complete us. But surely. Surely Evolving Skies won't be that nice to us, right? We are sitting on six Evolving Skies packs and seven Brilliant Stars. So it's time for Brilliant Stars for sure. 
to shine. What can he give us in this loaded pack? Come on, baby. Let's get another double hitter pack. One, two, three, four. And it is psychic energy. It's water. Could it be ironic because we have a fire boy coming? Collapse Stadium, Claydol, Riolu, Starly, Spirit Tomb, Purloin, Milsery. We have a regular reverse Sigilyph, and our pull is Flygon V. Yet another Flygon V. So we are now at two. I don't know. I, I still say it's kind of leaning. I still say it's kind of leaning in Evolving Skies direction. Correct me if I'm wrong, you tell me. We've got a Charizard pack incoming. Could it have another pull? No siree. Well, I mean, I guess it could. But it doesn't. We've got a Torterra Reverse Rare and a Grim Snarl right there. You've seen it here first. Come on, Evolving Skies. Alternate art. It's all we're asking for. Any alternate art. Even if I've pulled it before. Not happening. Drowsy, we've got Cutiefly and Melotic. There is our code card to show for it. Evo, trying to think. I think I think Full Art Rayquaza is absolutely realistic. Um, Shogun and Smeargle. I think Alt Art, Umbreon, Espeon, Glaceon, Leafeon. Any Alt Art V. I'm not talking V Max because I don't see another Secret Rare happening. I feel like any of that could absolutely happen and would not be um, out of the question. Here we go with Brilliant Stars. Two, three, four. Let's go Dark Energy. It's Leaf. Lucky Leaf Energy is what they call it. Ultra Ball, Magma Basin, Magmar, Staryu, The Berms, Sock, Cherubi, Breloom and Lucario, regular hollow. Never know what's gonna happen. One more brilliant stars and let's get a Mimic UV Max, character rare. Can we do it? No, not here. Mewtwo, Purloin, Electric Energy, code card for my friends and family watching this video and we are down. Let's see, we have three packs remaining of each after this pack. We absolutely have something coming in this pack. Two, three, and four. And let's go fighting energy. It's dark. It could be exactly what we're looking for. We've got dark energy, scroll, Ursa Ring, Swoobat, Wobbuffet, Love Disc, Dwebs, Hippopotas, Zorua, Scraggy, come on, Evolving Skies. We have an alternate art Leafeon. That's what I'm talking about. Let's freaking go. Yes. This is a brand new pull for your boy. I have not pulled the alternate art Leafeon from Evolving Skies, and now we have brilliant stars what do you have to say for yourself evolving skies is blowing you out of the water now we are now playing an uneven game in which brilliant stars is losing we're going back to back we are going pack back to back back to back that is what's about to happen code card oh we've got a character rare dusk nor character rare saves this pack and puts one back on the board for a vault for brilliant stars but that does not pass up an alternate art freaking leafy on phenomenal pull absolutely phenomenal pull we have another code card with a potential pull from evolving skies this could be a knockout punch for part one and two of this video let's go psychic energy it's lucky leaf energy again Avalog, Vigoroth, Dream Ball, Hitmonchan, Fletchling, Tentacool, Pika, C dot dot dot. We've got a Ribbon B and a regular Hollow, Reggie, Drago. But that's okay. It's Brilliant Star's turn, and they have two packs. Brilliant Star's has two packs 
to prove themselves. It's like it's a person. Prove yourself, and they're not gonna do it. We are not going to step up to the plate and prove ourselves here, Brilliant Stars, with a reverse rare Lapras and the infamous Wormadam that I talk so negatively about because it's a terrible Pokemon. Three packs remaining, it is now Evolving Sky's turn. Evolving Skies can do no wrong in this video, though. No wrong, even with a green code card there to show for it. Full face, Appleton, and another code card. We are down, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, as I throw the packs. We are down to our final two packs. This is Brilliant Star's chance to take the lead, and I just frankly do not see it happening, but we have the code card to do it. Can Brilliant Star's... Turn things around. One, two, three, and four. Let's go. Psychic energy. And we've got the guess the energy. We're doing a lot of things right right now. Psychic energy, bear tick, collapse stadium, throw. We've got magmar, star you, burmy, sock, something's coming. We've got a Float Soul, and our final pull in this battle is a regular V Semi Seer Ultra Rare. In my opinion, Evolving Skies has won this battle. No matter what happens in this pack, and it's gonna be green. There is no doubt in my mind this is a green code card, and it is. We have a Tentacool Reverse and a Rare Gorgeist. And here you have it, ladies and gentlemen, part one of our battle, Evolving Skies versus Brilliant Stars, which is better? What is the best set of the Sword and Shield era? We have a rare, rare scenario where I guessed that Brilliant Stars would come out on top, absolutely doubting what Evolving Skies could do. And Evolving Skies gave us a Rainbow Rare Trainer, a full art Pokemon, and an alternate art Leafeon. And Brilliant Stars yielded a full art trainer, some character rares, and a gold Urshifu, which do not discount the gold Urshifu. Very nice pull. I'll be giving it away on Twitter. Join us at BK Pokemon Cards on Twitter. Thanks so much for being a part. This was an incredible video. I hope you'll be here for part two. Once again, leave a like to support the channel. Please do subscribe to join the BK Pokemon Cards community. We would love for you to be a part. As always, check out one of these incredible Pokemon card openings right here, and I will catch you in the next video very soon.